Pray with me, friends. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You are so far from my cry and from the words of my distress. Amen. Amen. Be seated. When Lent began on Ash Wednesday, I stood up here and told the gathered community, you are dust. You are going to die. It's a certainty. There is no escape from death. It will happen. And I asked our friends gathered there to notice how did you react when you were confronted with the sure reality of your death? Sit with that truth for a moment, I asked. I don't like death. I'm not a fan. I admit, I woke up this morning, looked at the ceiling and said, I don't want to go to church today. But, Most days, most days, I have just, just enough faith to believe that on the other side of every kind of death, that there is somehow a livelier life than we could ever imagine. I don't pretend to understand the spiritual mechanics of it. I don't know how it works. I only know that it works. That the only way out of this is through. And don't get me wrong. It is feasible to avoid thinking about death, suffering, sin, pain, all of it. You can avoid that. Step right around Good Friday and come back on Sunday morning. It'll be fine. But you'll miss something. And I don't exactly know what that something is. All I can say is that somehow it's more real. It's denser. When we meet love, on the other side of the grave. There's nothing quite like it, is there? But for the time being, he's dead. They have taken my Lord away. I do not know where they have laid him. And so I guess I'm just here saying thank you. 
Thank you for mourning with me. Thank you for grieving with me. Thank you for being here by my side as we confront face to face the awfulness that is the death of the God who is love. Because somehow we know that most days we've got just enough faith to know that on the other side of every kind of death is a livelier life we ever would have enough.